Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV, where your time is invested and not wasted. So the other day, my wife was doing laundry, and when it was done, she came down, she was going to take all the clothes, you know, put them in the dryer, and when she grabbed them, she realized that the clothes were all sopping wet. Turns out that the thing never actually went into a final spin, so nothing was wrung out. So that's what this video is going to be about. If your washer is filling, but it's not agitating or it's not spinning, chances are that your motor went into an error code or there's some kind of fault that happened. Maybe there was a power spike, there was an interruption in power, or sometimes it could even be caused by an unbalanced load. And that will cause the machine to trip an error code on the motor, which will in turn cause it not to agitate or spin. So once the machine faulted out, the motor will not turn on. A lot of times it won't agitate or spin. Sometimes it will agitate, but it will not spin. And there's actually a very easy way to reset that error code. And I'm about to show you it. And if you think I'm pulling your leg, I'm really not trying to give you a stretch. This really works. And on this GE washer, this works 100% of the time, this top load GE washer. I know that there's some Kenmore and Whirlpool models as well that this works on. But basically to do this reset procedure, but the first step you got to do is unplug the power supply. Yikes, mine is really in there. Unplug the power supply for about a minute. After you waited for a minute or two, you can go ahead and plug the power back in. And after you have the power back in, the machine gives you 30 seconds to lift the lid and close it six times. And once you start lifting the lid, you have 12 seconds to do the six repetitions. And you only have to lift it about, I don't know, four inches. On some models, you can hear a click. On some others, you can't. On mine, for example, hear that click. There's a magnet right here. And the door switch is over here. That's basically, I'm um, opening and closing the door switch, which is activating the switch and closing it. You have to do that six times in a row within 12 seconds and within 30 seconds after you plugged it in. After you did that, that resets the motor and you can go ahead and turn on your load again and it should agitate and spin after that. This happened to me twice so far on this machine, likely because of unbalanced loads. I reset it like that and it came back on, everything worked great. So hopefully this easy fix will work for you as well. If you have any other quick easy fixes that people could try on their washing machines that I did not mention in this video, let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and we'll see you next time. And for those of you still here, I recently studied reverse psychology and I also recently posted a video on this washing machine right here where I go over all the different washing cycles. I turn them on and I run it with the lid open. I bypassed the lid switch so it actually still runs with it open and it's kind of interesting to see what's inside here. So it's a pretty cool video, but don't watch it.